Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. Welcome to Kababayan Today. Today is a very, very special show because I have a very good friend here with us for the first time. Alice Dixon is no stranger to Philippine entertainment. She started out as a beauty queen and she made a splash. And yes, that's a reference to one of her most popular roles, Jezebel, Galing. when she made a comeback recently. She's here to talk about returning to the homeland, oh, Alice Dixon. Ang galing mo naman sumulat ng intro. Oh, thank you. Very High five. Quickish. Okay, I like that. <laughs> splash. Yes. <laughs> and you really did make a splash coming back to the Philippines. Well, that was also what I did as a teenager when I did Jezebel, splash around. <laughs> <laughs> so Alice, uh, how does it feel to be back in the Philippines? And let me just warn everybody, Alice is very honest. That's what I love <laughs> about this girl. No BS, no nonsense. Because sometimes, you know, in the Philippines, there's a lot of BS going on. You are not that kind of girl. You're very honest and I appreciate that Thank about you. Thank you, okay. Yeah, so cool. let's talk about moving back. Well, to the Philippines. I moved back in 2010. I did a show with TV5, and then um, it was only supposed to be for <laughs> three months, but three months became six, six became nine, and then they asked me to stay a couple of years, and I said, okay, one, and then after my one-term contract, they said, one more year, and I said, mm, okay, and then, and it sort of just flowed, and I, I just went with the flow. Okay, so mm -hmm. prior to moving back in 2010, how long were you abroad? Because I know you were living in Canada. I lived in Canada for, well, uh, we immigrated in 2000. Pretty much I lived there for 10 years. 10 years. But I had been going back and forth to Manila to do projects every once in a while. When uh, my ex-husband now, he said, well, you have to find another career because it's too hard, you know, mm -hmm. the living set up and I said yeah but I didn't know what I wanted to do and so um, my sister said come to Florida because she was selling real estate at the time it was um, really happening in and you went back to school to learn yes. to become a realtor I, I took uh, a course I got my license I did real estate and when I went back to Canada I got hired right away in this uh, boutique <clears throat> real estate company and then I said I don't want to do residential I want to do commercial and so I studied for the um, for the commercial license and then I started doing commercial real estate which I loved mm -hmm. for almost six years and um, that's my life in a nutshell okay so how has it been going back to the Philippines because I moved back to the Philippines a couple years yes. after you moved back yes. and I only lasted two and a half years <laughs> Because, magulo sa Pilipinas. Well, <laughs> uh, maybe that's not the right term. Um, it's challenging. Mm -hmm, it is, and especially if you're sort of acclimated to the sensibilities of living in North America. Yes, or any other country. What are those challenges for you, Alice? There are a lot. I mean, I <laughs> I, I, I want to be positive about it mm -hmm. because the Philippines is where where we grew up. Of course. And, it's um, the homeland. Yeah. It's the motherland. We pay tribute to it. But, but honest, honestly, it's still the, the politics. I try to stay as uh, apolitic, apolitical as possible. But, um, and, there, and then, uh, of course, there is, you know, lack of education. We need to educate our children. We need to feed our children. And those are the basics that are lacking, really, in our country. And I don't want to get into it because it's, it's going to sound really depressing but we need to provide for our own really is what the big picture is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and it's when you're in an industry like show business that's full of narcissism and you exactly know. right it, it's so easy to sort forget of forget about that shelter yourself mm -hmm. but it's undeniable that when you look outside the window when yes. you're getting from point A to point B yes marami pong Pilipino ang nag Nangangailangan. Nangangailangan. Mm -hmm. What are we doing to help those Filipinos? Yes. That's the big question. Okay, so, medyo mabigat. Mabigat yun. <laughs> mabigat yun, but on a more positive note. Oh, wait, wait. Since we're talking about that, I would just like to say that um, if you go to my Instagram account, there is a foundation that um, was uh, started by a small group of people who, with 1,000 pesos, you can actually put a kid to uh, one semester of college 
in the province, 1,000 pesos, that's only around $40 for a whole semester. So if anyone who's listening would like to help this foundation. Well, yeah, well, about $80, $80 right? Because $80 for school year. Wow. Okay, and so for how much is that times four, you could actually put a kid through college. I've done it, my friends have done it, and it's just a simple contribution, and these are people who really care. Uh, it's not a big foundation, but... What um, is it called? Uh, it's called a, a Scholarship. AA scholarship. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mga kababayan, if you want to help out, here in America, we work hard, but we're very privileged. Yes. So let's share those blessings to our kababayans. When we return, pag-uusapan naman natin with Alice, something more personal. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>